Hello everybody, welcome to part 5 of Sonic Colors Ultimate. We are going to the Starlight Carnival, where I don't remember if this is the one that has that one level that I really don't like, but we're going to find out here. I know we do have a roller coaster that we've got to deal with, but in the first level, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, <coughs> it's going to be, this is going to be an interesting part here. Course below. I just got a notification that my game updated, but apparently it's still moving kind of slow. Well, the, the, uh, oh, oh, oh. So, first time I played this on the Switch version, my game actually froze. Let's hope it doesn't happen this time. If it does, we'll do it live. Alright, so far. So far we Gucci. Of course I die right off the bat. Because I wasn't paying attention. What the hell? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm hitting the boost button when I need to be hitting the jump button. Because I didn't adjust the controls, and B is still jump and A is still boost on my controller. Which is, for all intents and purposes, nothing that makes sense. Also, this is the introduction of the Cube Wisp. And all of its cubic glory. Can't get up there. Ah, I can't get up there. I'll just go down here. The red ring. We'll go up this way. Alright, so. Well, we can take the elevator or we can wall jump. It doesn't matter. That thing, to... that that thing is like being vicious, isn't it? And then we drop right here. It's all 3D, man. Now there's a section with motobugs where I gotta like sidestep into them, and that's the part that kept freezing the last time I played it. Or the first time I played this stage. Run into the side of Moto yeah, I know, running the side of motorboats. It was actually this part that does. We'll see if it does it this time. So far, so good. get a huge freaking bonus just from the boost and the quick step. I know that. Score 100,000 points in one run using quick step. I definitely did that, didn't I? And, oh, I love this part right here. This part is Now, this part can be a little bit of a nightmare if it isn't done properly because there is a part coming up where the ceiling can kill, where the ceiling will fall and could kill me. Oh, I made it! Oh my god, I made it! 
Now that one's gonna take me to the third one. I drop down here. This one's gonna take me to the middle. I drop down again. And this one takes me to the post. No, no, no! Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> I got a little too, uh, like I was trying to be careful, but being careful killed me, which was weird, to say the least. <laughs> Let's get use the cube here. Use that to get over the wall and end up here. I can then use this spring to get over this wall and be at, and be near the end. end is right there. That did not go as well as I had hoped. I do not expect a good... Oh, I got a C. Surprised I am. Honestly surprised I got a C, considering the piss-poor uh, performance that I had. But, hey, you know what? I'll take a C. And then the cube wisp becomes available in all other areas. And then I guess a cutscene? No, nope, no cutscene. But we go to the next area. Where there appears to be more cubes. Next, oh, hit the wrong button. See? I wait when you confuse when you when you mess up the A and the B button for me, it makes things a pain in the ass. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I haven't played, like, you guys are seeing this, like, a couple days after I filmed my last part. I filmed my last part, like, two and a half weeks ago. Because I was sick. Which is a sentence I normally don't say. But, I was sick. Here. Push this. That opens up this hole. See, I want to go in there, get that, but it's not worth it. There's something over here. Oh, there's a red ring over here. And one of those tokens. But yeah, I'm just gonna fall to my death instead. So we're just gonna keep moving. Now, now I just learned something. I didn't realize that if you activate the cube wisp, I think that's death. It's not death. But that would have been a shortcut. So we're just going 
to flip flop between activating the cube and deactivating the cube to get down to the bottom so I don't lose my rings. Or I lose my rings anyway when I get to the bottom, but I didn't die, so I'm not starting with a D. I'm also not going up a letter. Had I kept my rings up, probably could have gotten. But I did get an S, which is as good as I can expect to do. And then we are going to move on to part, or the third act. Which is over here. Oh, you know what? I think, now that I think about it, I think the roller coaster's in a different zone. <laughs> Next I did it again. I am not awake. <laughs> Anyway, part three of Starlight, or act three of Starlight Carnival. I can't wait to get to the boss. <laughs> All right, so we got Sonic running. not know about this. Two ways to get that red ring. Very smart. Very smart. Right, let's slide back under this. platform hasn't moved, so let's up. There's a red ring right there. This is the part I gotta be careful. Because one false move is death. As long as the platform is under me, I am good. And then there's these electric motherfuckers. And I fell. <laughs> Just trying to get cute and failed miserably, but as long as I have the tails thing. I don't lose any of my red ring progress. And the best part is any customization tokens that I acquire, I can reacquire. But I'm not going for the tails thing again. I'm just going to let the platform go up. Like 300 rings in one. Well, I definitely did that, didn't I? And there is the goal. Let's see how I do in this one. Starts with a C, continue with a C. Oh, sweet. I will take an A. It's not an S. But it's an A. 
and the tail sling just barely got to me. So that is going to be it for part five. We are going to finish off Starlight Carnival in the next part. So until then, take care, y'all. Peace.